Okay, so let's answer this question. What we want to know is the time and then part B is asking us the dis the, where will the plan be, so we need this distance x. Okay, well we know that sine theta is equal to 1 over the Mach number, which is equal to 1 over 3. So we can use this to work out theta. Theta is equal to 19.47 degrees. That's the inverse sine of this. Okay, now this is our angle theta here, 19.47 degrees. So tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is h over x. Now h is a known number and theta is known, so we can use this to work out x. x is equal to 20,000 over tan of 19.47, which is equal to 56 1,569 meters. So this distance, this is the distance that the plane has traveled in that time. Now we can use this distance to work out the time because we know how fast the plane's going. It's going at three times the speed of sound. Now we were told that we could assume that the speed of sound in this case was equal to 335 meters per second. So this tells us how fast the plane is going. The velocity of the plane is equal to three times this. So three times 335 meters per second. So if we want to work out how long it's taken to travel the distance x, we can just use time is equal to distance over speed. So that's 56,569 meters over three times 335. And solving that on the calculator, we end up with 56.3 seconds. So that's the distance the plane has traveled. Now, in regards to part B, it's still at the altitude of 20,000 meters, and it has traveled 56.6 kilometers um, horizontally.